know, when, when, when people are stealing from you, the first thing come to your mind is, man, maybe that was a coincidence, man. That dude don't know me, man. Maybe it was just coincidental. But it's being naive, and it ain't coincidental, man. It's something called the internet, man. Niggas, niggas watching that shit. Niggas looking at what the fuck you're doing. They're looking at that shit. They're like, man, maybe I can steal that. And I can motherfucking, I can disguise it in a way. I can disguise it in a way where it don't look like I stole it that much. You know what I'm saying? I can just hide it a little bit. Man, niggas watching, man. Niggas watching, man. Niggas been stealing from H-Town for years, man. Like, this shit ain't fucking new. You know what I'm saying? Dropping my, uh, my album this year called Ash the World 2. Cause a nigga trying to steal that too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm wait, dropping wait, 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 wait. I'm dropping Ash the World 2 this we year. Gonna, we gonna speak about this though. I'm, I'm dropping Ash the World 2. This is Say Cheese and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like we gonna speak about that. When I seen that, the first thing I was like, man, what does Beat King think about the Travis Scott? Me, uh, uh, See, uh, EP what, what, coming soon or LP. Which what's what's crazy about all that, man? It's very easy to seem like a hater. It's very easy to look like a hater. It's very easy to look like a hater. If I say Ugly God's biting me, and then I say Travis Scott is trying to take my Astroworld shit, I look like a lame ass, hating ass nigga. I just had a conversation with Pow Wow at June James um, video shoot. I finna get Pow Wow on this Astroworld album. He said, man, I'm glad you're making Astroworld Part 2 because Astroworld 1 went hard. He said, you know what's crazy? He said, I actually thought about making an Astroworld album one day. I want to make an album called Astroworld. But I knew you had made one. And if I was to make an Astroworld album, B-King, I'd have to ask you if that was cool or you'd have to produce my whole Astroworld album because you did that first. And when Paul told me that, I was like, all right. Yeah, that's a motherfucking legend. Pow Wow, my big brother, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, man, you know, it, it, hey, man, like I said, I don't want to sound like a hater, because I'm not a hater, man. I make good music, and I have my own fan base and following, and I do what I do. I ain't no hater, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Like, people, if you don't know, you need to do your research if you don't know. One thing you that you said that always stuck with me, that when you don't have a hit, everything you say comes off as hating. Uh -huh. When you do have a hit, everybody's mm -hmm. listening to me. When you have a hit, you can say whatever you want to say, but if you don't have a hit popping at the moment, everything you say sounds like complaining. You could be telling the truth, but it sounds like you're bitter. And that's one way I never wanted to come off. It's been radio stations that have supported me. Then the next year, they just don't support me for no reason. No reason. But I've never got on social media and complained about that. I said, man, fuck this radio station, dog. They want me to perform at their Kwanzaa Fest, but they're, oh shit. But see, anyway, but see, they want me to perform at they, they radio event, but they don't want to play my shit. I've never been like that. But see, a lot of people do. That's why they don't have these long runs like you do. My thing is, I make music for my fans. Them ratchet ass bad bitches at PV, at all the colleges around the country. I make music for female. I, I make, I make, I make being a hoe sound fun in these songs, and it make females feel good and make them feel like they're in a party environment. Like my music, no one is doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I put you in that party environment when you hear a B King song. Like when I go in the booth and I say this crazy shit to come out of my mouth. I want you to feel like you in that party environment. I see the Zans, I see the Coke, I see the fucking, the, the drink, I see the Hennessy, I see bitches sweating, I see that shit and I just say that shit and it becomes party anthems. And I make music for people who appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And I'ma always have a hit because my fans love what I do. You know what I'm saying? I got three sets of fan bases. I got the ratchet people who love my ratchet music. I have my 3-6 Mafia following who love what I do with Gangsta Boo and all the 3-6 Mafia, you know what I'm saying, style music. I also have my funny freestyles. It's people who know me from them three different entities who may not even know I have a song called Throw That Ass. Hold up, bitch. They may have heard me from a Sharkeisha song or like a P.O.P. Hold It Down. Everybody's asking me to do a How About That? 
song right now. You know what I'm saying? They may know me from that. Or you may know me from this, don't even know I do that. I have what I call super fans who love all three of those elements from me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ah, let me go back to the relevant shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my dog Remix God, who turning up right now. That's my dog. He turning up from making the goddamn. I got beans, green potatoes, and nut. He'll tell you, man, BK. I've been jamming yo. Like, you, you the reason I'm doing this shit like that, making these beats like that, dog. So I've been jamming your crazy freestyles for years. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it's when people say relevant. Like I'm seven years in, and I got paper. I don't buy cars, I don't, I don't pay for pussy, and I don't have a drug habit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good. I ain't, got, I ain't got to make music no more. I can just sit at the, at the house and watch X videos and just jack off and, you know what I'm saying, and eat wings and watch Xfinity The Man with my kids and watch the Ghostbusters movie and just be chilling. You know what I'm saying?